all right everyone we're back with part two this is my second time recording it so we're gonna have a very successful recording this time around and we're gonna get the clearest most concise messages for all of us um and this one just you know i'm gonna kind of be a little bit more straight to the point so just keep that in mind we left off with the queen of swords clarifying the king of pentacles so now we're moving forward into the seven of wands clarified by the judgment card energy okay um excuse me i mean why not read from the book just one of them the seven of wands taking a stand boundaries risk taking and self-knowledge a woman embraces her cosmic power and is deep in concentration everything is available to us when we open ourselves up to the vastness of the cosmos we can take anything on outgrow our earlier constraints shed our skin and swallow the whole the world whole the open passion of Leo coupled with Mars is a combustive combination. We can be like a supernova during this time. Do not compromise your values now. Only they can carry you over the threshold. I am a warrior of the light. Okay. So um, there's a reconciliation coming towards the end of the month. And I do feel like... Um, more so this is about than anything than you know fighting things off i do feel like you do need to hold your boundaries especially this is why this no card is here because you really need to hold your boundaries i feel like this person may try to come in and you know maybe there's some love bombing you know and honestly i feel like this person has good intentions it's just like maybe they have some bad habits okay so this is about you sticking strong with your boundaries and you know just saying you know what not today or not at this time i'll see you later you know something like that is going to occur where you're just like no mm -mm, mm -mm. we're not we're not going to be doing it like this but even though you're still going to be holding strong to your boundaries this does start the beginning of the renewal in the relationship it's clarified by the five of wands so this is definitely someone who previously you could have been having conflict competition or having just petty disagreements arguments or fights with this person and everything shall be renewed by the end of the month aries so that's good to know definitely hold firm in your boundaries and do not allow this person to undermine you okay big message there play this is a month of play um aries so it's just talking about all the different things that may be coming your way this month all the different things that will be brought to your attention there's going to be roller skating rinks cookouts hiking picnics scuba diving you know vacation there's going to be all kinds of things so you know even this person could be coming in and saying you know what i'm trying to protect my position and so you know they want to take you on vacation or celebrate with you somehow in some way but this card is definitely telling you like don't be too serious you've definitely been working hard all month in may so when you do have these opportunities to go out and have a good time you should absolutely take them especially this month you deserve it you've been working hard and honestly you know you know what they say work hard play harder and that's exactly what you deserve to do we have star seed what lights you up this card was really speaking about aries um about you really just following your passion your purpose your destiny whatever that is for you this month you're just very 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 in tune with it you know that your purpose is the gateway to all of your dreams desires wishes all of the above you get what you want by following through on your purpose and showing up for god or higher self or um your ascendant masters your ancestors your angel guides your spirit guides um allah or you know buddha or whoever it is that you pray to or that you believe your connection with god you know you know that all things are possible through that connection through that relationship and so you're just really 
the 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 message here is to really just focus your energy in that direction and you will see everything else just come to full purview and into fruition like i said we already talked about the no card a little bit it says wait postpone pause say no so this is usually just like the timing is probably almost not right okay so one thing it's saying is that you know, don't allow people to pressure you into, you know, doing what they want to do. If you don't have that 100% certainty inside of your body, inside of your chest telling like, yes, 100%, this is a go, then you know the only other answer is no. There's only two things. It's yes or no. There's no in between. There's no anything else. It's just like, you know, it's like when you feel kind of sure about something and you still got that little wedge of uncertainty in there, that means the answer is no. It, it means just wait until things become more clear and you feel like 100% this is a yes. I have clear clarity on this, okay? So the month of May, you will be doing a lot of organization, Aries. So this is, you know, organizing your schedule, organizing your work because you honestly, you want to have a love life. You want to have a social life. But it's just like, well, how do you find the time to do that if your schedule's all over the place, you're not following through on your routines, and there's a lot of things that you need to get together. Um, you could be organizing um, like events that you're putting together this month in the month of May. So this could be birthday parties for other people that are around you. If Aries is your other placement, maybe you're a Gemini sun. Um, and so that could be a lot of what's going on. Yeah, so purpose, planning, efficiency now come to me so easily. So you are really getting organized this month. You're getting things together. You're getting things out the way. And that's great energy. You have wisdom, which says on a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So um, Wednesday could be an important day this month for you. So just keep a lookout for things happening on Wednesday or on any full or new moons. I would definitely check in to see what events occur for you. Um, but you will be learning some very significant lessons this month in May is what I think it's saying is there's culmination of certain lessons that you really, 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 I don't want to say you've been struggling with them, but they've gone under the radar for some time, whereas you're not, you haven't been as aware of them as you are aware of the other things that you have been working on, you know, within yourself. And so... Yeah, so now you're learning new wisdom, you're learning new skills that you can work upon and that you can build and make them be better, make them be greater. And so you, you're gaining a lot of new wisdom this month in May. And then you have knowledge, which like these are, you know, two sides of the same coin. Let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. So you definitely have a lot of information, a lot of downloads, a lot of messages coming in from your ancestors this month. So you could just be really becoming aware of certain patterns and generational traumas that your ancestors uh, um what's the word that your ancestors encountered you know that are similar to yours and you're realizing how similar your path is to your ancestors to your grandmother to your grandfather to your great grandmother to your great grandfather to your great aunt your great uncle you're realizing like why we have all these similarities in our story and honestly i can use their previous life blueprint you know as a tool for myself if i just would actually just become aware and acknowledge that i am my ancestors and we have the same blood flowing through us and the challenges that were placed upon them could be the same challenges that are being placed upon me and what did they do to overcome those things and how did they overcome those challenges you know, it's really just putting all these things together. You're really becoming aware of a lot. A lot of your patterns, a lot of your traumas, blah, blah, blah. Even if you have children, you're becoming aware of things that you've passed down to them. And what you can do to implement them healthy, you know, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, so that they can be fully armored and, and you know, be a spiritual warrior, a warrior okay? That is the end of the reading. We are done. Happy May, everyone. If you want to book a personal, please just contact me on Instagram or you can check the link on my link tree, link in bio. Thank you guys for tuning in every month. Welcome new followers. 
and i will see you guys next month in june i can't wait and yeah